the Lord, everyone. Um, welcome to the God Seller 7 and Time Prophecy channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a edifying um, prophecy message um, from Brother Dan that I'm going to present to you today. Um, so join me in the King James Version Bible. Um, I'm going to be in the book of Luke. Um, Luke, Luke um, let's see, chapter 21, verse 28. And when these things began to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads, for your redemption draw nigh. So you might want to read the rest of that. That's about the parable of the fig tree coming up. So Brother Dan um, sent to me this earlier. And of course I'm getting one too. I didn't get it. Mine's about martyrs, so you know that's not going to be a happy, um, happy one. So here we are. <clears throat> here we go. Those that walk in the light shall not fear the darkness, for I am the light of the world. Let those who have ears hear, and let those who have eyes see. The truth beholds its master, it is I. Are the signs of my judgment not visible to see? Look around you, for my judgment comes quickly. My messengers have prepared you for this. Step forward now and seek me. It is I who give hope to the hopeless, sight to the blind, and heal the sick. It is I who forgive the unforgiven. Do not fear the unknown. Follow me. Those who have faith shall move mountains in my name. Let today be the day that you draw closer to me. Oh, that's lovely. So once again, um, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, you can read about that in the book of Acts 2.38. Um, once again, if you're new on here, we have lots of new um, followers and likes on Facebook and um, new subscribers on YouTube. Um, I did have a stroke back in 2015, and I was not supposed to survive it. And if I did, I was never supposed to leave the nursing home alone. So right now, I consider what I have pretty much a miracle of everything starting to work again and come back to life. Um, so uh, whatever your situation is, right now we know Jesus is coming. You want to get straightened out uh, and get prepared. Um, this has been such a chaotic week here for me. Um, the last few days, this is unbelievable even. I know I, I listen to my own prophecies and I should, shouldn't be surprised, but we had tornado warning here two days in a row and I was running around here with one foot, I know that's funny. Um, and then the power went out, and then yesterday the power went out when we had a tornado warning and a flash flood um, watch all within like I'm gonna say about an hour. So things are really um, getting chaotic everywhere. And, and after um, I saw all the flooding, and again, I don't have the TV, um, people send me stuff. I saw all of the flooding and all of our farmlands, all of our farmlands underwater. Um, you need to do what I said before. I, I warned everybody flooding was coming. I didn't understand the magnitude of the um, catastrophic uh, flooding, but there are not going to be, there is not going to be enough food for everybody. There's no way that you could get around that after seeing all the flood, all of the um, farmlands flooded. So you need to be prepared, and I'm going to say stock up because I already did it. You need to do that. Um, the food prices are going to uh, triple, probably skyrocket through the roof. And even if you have money, you're not going to be able to buy food because there just isn't going to be enough. There's going to be a big famine. So I'm waiting on that. We, I have a prophecy about, are you, uh, will you survive the great um, famine? The destroyer is upon you. So you need to stock up and be prepared, have an emergency plan, have extra food, have extra water. Um, like I said, even if you have extra money, you're not gonna be able to buy it. There's not gonna be food to buy. There's going to be too many people and not enough food. Please do it. The Lord has warned us over and over and over, um, hundreds of times already, myself and other messengers out there with the same message that all these weather um, catastrophes that are coming are part of judgments that are on us right now. So we're in the middle of a big problem here. So just be prepared. And again, I never saw anything like it with the weather around here. Um, in Pennsylvania, we don't get tornadoes. I think one other time, I'm going to say probably about 20 years ago, we might have had a tornado warning. I remember Brother Dan and I and my son in the cellar at the other house. That was it. Two days in a row, that's way, way, way uh, unimaginable. I can't even believe it. So I'm wanting to thank everyone. And once again, um, Kathy, I didn't put a note out there in, in the card, but I do want to say I agree with you on the card you sent in the note. Yes, I agree. I'm not going to go into it. 
Um, and then I got other beautiful cards too. So I want to thank everyone for the beautiful cards. Um, all your comments on the um, uh, Godzilla 7 um, uh, video YouTube pages and, and on Facebook. And once again, um, if you do leave a nasty, negative, vile comment, um, I don't put up with that. You could go visit somebody else's channel because you will be blocked and banned if you leave it uh, any disrespect to me. Any of the other subscribers or friends on the page, you leave a nasty comment to them. And I'm even going to add this one final because I've seen this on my page. And this is not something I normally see on our YouTube page. I've seen negative, nasty comments about Israel. Um, God blesses Israel, and I bless Israel. So if you're going to need leave a nasty comment about Israel or any of the Jewish people, um, you might as well leave the channel because you're going to be blocked and banned and removed from everything. I won't put up with it. Uh, behavior like that or disrespect or cursing or anything else. Um, I'm not here to put up with it and I won't. So once again, um, you know, um, I'm thanking everyone for the transcripts. I think I forgot that on the last video, the th transcripts under the um, messages in the different languages. I'm um, thanking everyone for the cards and gift. I'm um, thanking everyone that supports our uh, ministry financially. We love you guys. Um, uh, just want to give a quick update on Brother Dan's hives. Um, he's tried Pretty much most of the things you guys suggested, which were fabulous um, recommendations for him. Um, the aloe vera, he's tried the apple cider vinegar, he's tried all these things. Um, they are starting to fade, but it's still there. And again, we thought it possibly was the blood pressure medication. Uh, he won't know until he gets in with the specialist. Um, he's still waiting for them, I think, to call him. I don't think he has an appointment with the specialist yet. Um, did I forget anything else? Um, I went through everything. Um, just once again, be prepared for an emergency. I do put stuff up on Facebook, so like and follow us there. Facebook, Gossler7, and Facebook, The King is Coming, The Second Coming of Christ. Um, I did put um, things, uh, you know, what to, to pack up if you need to have a, uh, they call it a bug out bag. I just call it a backpack. Um, things to put in there in case there's an emergency and you have to quickly leave, like yesterday when I had the flash flood um, warning. So you don't know what's going to happen. You want to be prepared. Uh, have a bag, a backpack that you could wear um, on your back. You don't want to be carrying big, heavy things around. And just go through the list. I did put it up on my Facebook page of what to put in there because it seems like what, they, what after reading about all of these emergency bags, people load it up with so many things that they're so heavy they can't carry them. No, that would be exactly what I would be doing and Brother Dan would be yelling at me because he'd be the one having to car carry everything. And this is actually funny. Um, the one year we were going on vacation when I bought him new shorts, um, I bought him the shorts that have like 10, 10 pockets. Don't laugh. They have pockets all down the legs, pockets everywhere. So we're on vacation. <laughs> and he goes to me, why do these shorts have all these pockets? <laughs> so I hand him <laughs> my keys, my lip gloss, my water. <laughs> I had an ulterior motive there. Don't laugh. He carried on and he, I think he actually growled at me <laughs> for doing it. And he said I was making him a pack rat or something or a pack mule. <laughs> But that's actually a good idea if you do have those pants. I don't know if they still sell them. I think they were called cargo pants <laughs> with all the pockets. Just think of Brother Dan with all of my lip gloss and everything, carrying everything around for me, yelling at me how heavy everything was. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting off the track, but that is a funny story. So once again, I wanted to say, everyone, thank you for all you do for us, and we love you guys. Um, you're our, our family, our church family. We love you, and be safe, and God bless you all. I better go before I run out of space. <laughs>